Hi everyone, it's Wild Rose. I really hope you're well and are having a lovely day so far wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to another episode of Wild Rose Plays. Um, I have no plans for today's episode at all. I have just logged on at the real time for a nice change and I just thought I would just play for a little bit of time with you guys and just see how my evening pans out. Um, and I did think that I would play in the evening just so that it's a little bit of a nice change and we'll be on the lookout for tarantulas as well and see if we can catch one. So first things first, just to check the mail. I haven't actually played for quite a while, so it'll be interesting to see what state the island's in. <laughs> Okay, so this I believe is my tarantula model. If you watched the previous episode, you would have seen that I get sold about 25 tarantulas to flick. So we got a little model and then we made 200,000 bells from selling tarantulas. So that was really good. And we have a little gift from Dodo Airlines as well. So let's check them out. Also popped to my, sister land, my sister's land to pick up my blue roses. Okay, so we got a DAL eye mask and our tarantula model. I feel like I need to put this in an actual nice area rather than just having it randomly there to scare me. Oof. I've wanted to get the model just so that I could get one because I don't know if I'll ever get to Scorpion Island ever again or Tarantula Island ever again. But oh, they're just so scary aren't they but they'll look really good when it's halloween i guess um or i might make a little area somewhere on my island maybe like a tarantula warning site or something <laughs> um okay let me just pop into my house to see if i've got any more fossils Okay, we have quite a few fossils, so let's go to the museum first and get those analysed. I really want to put my tarantula model maybe up here. I didn't think it would fit there. No. Do we have any space at all? I did leave a little gap for villagers to come and sit, oops, sit on this um, little bench, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay, let's just place this here so I the flower. I see lots of villagers walk up here, but I never see them come to sit. No, there's nowhere really that it can go to be honest. Find another place for it. No more hybrids as of yet. I might place the model here just temporarily. Actually, no. Let me put the plant here. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but I planted a money tree here. And I planted 99,000 bells because I was certain that previously, a long time ago, I did manage to grow a 99,000 bells tree. And um, I think basically the rules are that if you plant the 99,000 bell tree, you can't time travel. And I am addicted to time traveling. I literally can't function without it. And I grew the tree to about day three of real time. And I just needed to time travel because someone left and I needed to get somebody to join my island. Um, and I needed to go forward like a couple of days and then when I grew, grew the tree fully with the money when the money dropped it was only 10,000 so I know I have done it but I basically need to grow the tree for five days without time traveling and at this current moment in time I just can't <laughs> not time travel but yeah I feel like that's okay there for now oh gross probably will move that because it just freaks me out every time <laughs> I see it. This pond as well, I did have this, put this pond here. <gasps> Why is, oh I must have changed some of my custom designs. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Um, yeah, I put this little pond here 
in the hope that when I walked over here, I, there would be like a little fish in there. But I think this pond might even be too small for a fish to go in. Because I've never ever come up here and seen a fish before. Got loads of fossils today. Okay, so we found something that we haven't got in the museum yet. Hopefully it's not too many, because I do enjoy the money from fossils. <laughs> Only two, that's good. Okay, let's go on to check the shops. I don't think I'm too late for the tailor shop closing yet, so I should be able to check what clothes we've got as well. Let me just quickly check up here to see if I've got any pink hyacinths. No. Okay, well, once we've sold the fossils, we'll do a bit of gardening, I think, because I still need to keep making space so that we do get, oh, we've got another blue hyacinth. Lovely. That's great. Just need a couple more and then they'll start breeding on their own, which is great. Please ignore all these crazy trees. <laughs> Just needed to grow a few more um, so that when I move them around uh, the island, I don't have to like, Wait, I've already got them in stock, kind of thing, if that makes sense. <laughs> Ooh, a nice cute bed. Wonder how much the blue rose roses sell for. to go to the bank and put some money in. <laughs> I think I'll leave the bed for now. Nothing really essential. I wonder if our newest villager Tammy is at home today. An unsuccessful 10 mile ticket challenge. Oh, I mean, her house is quite nice, but I was so disappointed that it was someone I already knew that came here. <laughs> and her house is very yellow, wow. Pfft. So long as you're here, you might as well hang out, you heard. <laughs> Pretty tidy in here, ain't it? Yeah, it's not usually like this. What music is this? Oops. <laughs> Tommy with your TV. Oh my gosh, look at and she's got the sofa perfectly positioned as well. What is this house? She literally has a magazine rack, TV, music playing. Everything positioned perfectly. Mirror over here. A welcome mat right here. Wow. Did you hear her chewing just then? I didn't realise you could hear them chewing. Wow. <laughs> you can hear them chewing, that's so cute. Ooh, we haven't been in Marshall's house yet, surprisingly, even though he's been here for ages. Wow, Marshall. Why do all the smoke villagers' houses kind of look like this? Oh, look at him. He's having a little spring clean. And his favourite song is KK Bossa, which I love. 
Hey, Marsh. Yeah, you made it. Did you know that Leah from Laconia recently graced us with their presents? Word on the street is that they wanted a bunch of our local flowers. The whole world's a, a stage. Might as well help keep it beautiful. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, Marshall. Who lives there? I can't remember. Dom. We'll leave him to it. <gasps> My days! Why does it look so big? Oh, has it run away? Oh, I bet it went in the water. Oh god, there it is. Okay, let's try and catch it. Oh gosh, oh my. Why is it so nerve-wracking? Got it! Caught your Angela, this situation just got heavy. I thought it jumped in the water because Ellie was like relieved that it went away. Gosh, that one looked really big. Ew. Don't worry, I am here to save the streets of Shireland. <laughs> it's a shame you can't, mind you, if the tarantulas, I was going to say it's a shame you can't squash them like the, um, uh, the what are they called? The cockroaches. But... In retrospect, if you could squash them, then they wouldn't be cast as an animal that could go in your encyclopedia or critopedia. Okay, so we don't actually know who's here yet. Interesting enough, we haven't seen anyone. There's no one at the plaza. Opal is over there eating her sandwich. Oh, great, there's a fossil here. Is that Bubbles? Yeah, oh gosh. Bubbles, over here. Girl, I gotta stay on my favorite outfit. Hi Rose, do you know what to do when things are just the worst? Well, this is what you do. Some folks call it pouting, but I say it's me telling the world to quit being mean. Anywho, using aggravation can deaf make you feel better. See, I'm all good now, hipster. <laughs> Thank you, Bubbles. <laughs> Cute, I love it. Look well to get. Oh, oh, I always call them tickets. Look my points. I need to find out where these um, new nook mile or nook points are. You know, the, the things that were um, on Twitter and online from the update. And it's like a, a green leaf or something. I don't know. I don't know where they're from. There's no one online, even though it likes to tell me that there is. Oops. I'm really uninspired by this area at the moment. I kind of wanted it to be like a mini residential area, but again, I couldn't move Opal's house to precisely the place where I wanted it initially. So I had to move it like slightly to the right hand side. And then now I'm kind of just like, meh, like I'm not sure. I was gonna do like a cross shape and then like two houses um, and then like a nice park or green area. And I wanted all pink trees up here as well. Well, not pink trees, but saplings. So when they, um, when it's cherry blossom season, they'll all be pink. But I don't know. I'm just not really inspired. But hopefully, this will be a nice build with me at some point when I have some creative ideas. Uh, so bear with me on that one. Let's just go check the shop. Ooh, baseball shirt. I'll definitely take the black one. Got all the trousers, I think. Oh, PJs. Yeah, I've got to have some PJs. A teeny hat. Which one looks better? Probably the black one. That's cute. That kind of hat goes with like a really nice custom outfit, I would imagine. I have all the socks. I have some slippers, I believe. Okay, we'll just go for these for now. And then we'll grab some pyjamas as well. Seeing as it's night time, let's change into PJs.
Here are the ones I just bought. And I bought these yellow house slippers too. I think I've got some, yeah, I've got the white ones. I've got those ones too, but I think the yellow ones will be fine. And then I'll just take my accessories off. They're nice and cozy. <laughs> oh, can't see where I'm going. There we go. On the lookout for who is on our island still. I haven't found anyone yet. And I do want to find where the message in the bottle is as well. Also, side note, I never ever catch a sturgeon fish on this side of the island. It's really weird. But I only ever catch them on the left side by my house. It's quite strange. Okay, no bottles up here. Oh, looks like a half decent sized fish. Oh gosh. No, it's not a big one. <laughs> Is it worth a try? My slippers are getting wet. It's Sahara, and there's our bottle. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we'll talk to her and get robbed <laughs> for some wallpaper and floor that we probably won't like. Everyone always used to be able to get the fluffy floor, like the, um, you know, like the fluffy um, rugs and stuff. But every time I do it, I never get any like good ones. I always just get like the lava floor or the train station floor. And I always get like the deck rugs as well. Let's get some flooring. I like how in this game there's someone here every single day, which is cool. Um, I remember in the last game in New Leaf, it was like total potluck if you were going to get somebody on your island or not like a special character but i like how there's a guarantee that there's someone here every single day so it does give you a little bit of an incentive to make sure that you keep logging on and finding out who's here at least if there's nothing else to do i go for one more rug So we should have five tickets now. Yep. And then I usually like to exchange it for wallpaper because I do prefer the wallpaper over the floor. And we don't need random tickets left in our inventory. Right, I'm definitely content. Please stop robbing me. Ellie's the third villager today we've seen eating a <laughs> sandwich. Always check the for big fish. Mostly in vain. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, that spider. A tea table. Cute. We'll take that. And okay, so we got, oh, strawberry chocolate wall. Flowing river flooring. Wow, I definitely haven't seen that before. That is exciting. Purple Persian rug, dungeon wall, and black blocks rug. Cool. So two of those I don't recall seeing. So let's run to our home and take a look at what they look like in the house.
I really want to catch a frog. I'm not sure if it's frog season yet or not. <laughs> the last time Sahara came, that's the, the wallpaper and flooring we have there. Okay, so let's try the dungeon wall first. Ooh, cool. I'm burning my toes. Flowing river flooring. Wow. Okay, not what I expected. But cool nonetheless. Wow. I love the flooring sound effects. So good. I like that floor. That's cool. And then chocolate strawberry wall. Ooh, okay. So there's white chocolate wall, dark chocolate wall, and strawberry chocolate. I don't actually know anyone who would have strawberry chocolate in their house. Um, I've yet to find somebody who's creatively decorated enough to make that wallpaper go with furniture, but I guess somebody must have done it somewhere. Let's try the black blocks rug. Yeah, kind of cool. And then... Let's try the purple Persian rug. Ooh! I like that. Kind of reminds me of the Halloween rug. Uh, except for that one, obviously, it has pumpkins on it. But wow, I really like this one. That's cool. Okay, so let's pop a few things in storage, please. Get rid of that tarantula. Thank you. Let's put that fossil away as well and then we'll find somewhere to put the blue roses i really do need to sort out my house <laughs> does anyone remember um if you played new leaf i believe it was new leaf um and definitely uh, wild world um games does anyone remember the I think it was called modern furniture where it was like kind of reminded me of the rug that we've just seen so that it was like black and white um black and white furniture and it was kind of like not very cozy like very um square and blockish that's the best way i can describe it um and it was all like gray black and white i don't know if anyone ever remembers that interior but i feel like there's so many like different furniture types that they haven't included in this game and I don't mean to keep moaning about it because this game is really good but I just find it weird how they've got so many things that they've missed out when they already had them in previous games that's that's what I can't understand oh gosh let's move a bit closer um it doesn't make sense to like have things previously in games and then to get rid of them um me and my sister were talking about a review that we watched by a YouTuber called Pretendo. I really, really like his videos, I like his style. Um, and he did an amazing 40 minute Animal Crossing full game review. Um, I do think that his rating of Animal Crossing's New Horizons was a little bit harsh towards the end. He rated it six out of 10. Um, personally, I think it's a strong eight but I don't think I would go any higher than that on the basis that we have to wait so many months for basic upgrades. So we all knew about the diving, whoops. We all knew about the diving from New Leaf and we had to wait till the summer before that got released previously. And um, there's obviously so many special characters, Brewster, that everyone keeps begging for. Um, I am hoping that the reason why they've got a delay in some of the special characters is because they want to make something incredible, maybe like a shopping district or something like that, like another island that you can fly to. Um, and that's the reason maybe why they are holding back on basically all of the shops. But you can't have New Leaf and have basically the shopping mall that they had um, or shopping plaza i can't remember what it was called now but you just went you crossed over the train tracks and then you like literally it was just one loading screen and then you went to a whole different um area basically to go to all the shops and you had to work really hard to like unlock all of the special characters because most of the doors were boarded up um 
and it took like a lot of um, you know a lot of work and it took a lot of engagement with different characters to basically unlock the whole of the plaza so I feel like you can't kind of give us that on a game that's not as good quality as this and then just basically take us all take it all away from us but me and my sister were saying that potentially it might be because the terraforming here um, and obviously having all of the furniture outside because obviously this is the first time we've been able to put like any furniture outside so I think maybe either they're being lazy so there's three reasons why <laughs> One, they're being lazy and they just don't want to make the game as progressive as it has been in previous games. Two, the terraforming and the um, being able to landscape your land to pretty much exactly how you want it is too much um, memory or too much game data or however it works. I'm not like a tech person so I don't really know but if it's too much data to... Um, basically get all of the terraforming and stuff then maybe there's not enough room for special characters and for bigger shops and things like that um either that um i can't actually remember what reason three was now <laughs> but oh there's a sturgeon fish let's hope we can capture it but yeah i just i really have high hopes for this game um so i'm i mean i'm still going to be a dedicated player until they come out with something new um but yeah i really do wish that the game was still that little bit better. Got it. Whee! See what I mean about only capturing sturgeon fish in this area? Never catch it anywhere else, despite the fact that you can get them from all mouths of the rivers. Weird. Okay, let's head over to our orange plants. Well, I say orange, we've only got yellow ones that have bred, I think. And just give them a little bit of a water. Oops. But yeah, let me know. I think those ones, are those ones orange? Because it's dark, I can't really tell. I think they are orange. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are still hoping for. Um, for the game. I think you all know by now what I want because I moan about it all the time. Um, I would like the villagers to say a little bit more dialogue too. So I feel like the villagers can be quite repetitive. Um, and I think it was a lot more special in previous games when you made best friend status with certain villagers. So yeah, the game still has a lot of work to do. Uh, but we'll see if they are focusing on anything else or if this is kind of all we get, it'll be interesting to see. Okay, let's go have a look for Phoebe. There she is, vibing to her music. Oh, I didn't mean to water you, Phoebe, sorry. Phoebe's my favourite. Yo, Wild Rose, how you doing, Sparky? I can't decide what I want to do next. Do I go bug catching, fishing, maybe gardening? Ah, too many choices. <laughs> Well, I was just moaning that there wasn't enough to do in this island, but I mean, whatever floats your boat, Phoebes. <laughs> the weeds are getting a bit out of control up there, so I'll need to work on that area soon. <laughs> We're actually just dancing up here outside the house. Very cute. Right, I feel like at the moment that's all of the areas that we have. Um, I feel like I do need to do another garden area at some point and I can't remember how to do green mums. It might be the purple ones I think. So I have two, do I have two purple ones? Yeah, I have two purple ones in my pocket. So let's see if we can find, in fact, I might put them up here and then if they're up here, oh there's a balloon, <laughs> if they're up here I can water them every time I pass to go to the shop but it will remind me to kind of be inspired to do this area as well. So let's try and catch the balloon as well. 
Oops, sorry, April. Didn't mean to just barge into you this time. Still eating a sandwich. <gasps> How? Seriously? I was nowhere near that fountain. Come on. That's ridiculous. I was nowhere near that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh wow, a hose reel. Thank you so, so much. Amazing. Right, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed this nice chilled little play with me, I guess, uh, in the evening time as well. Um, yeah, I mean, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not actually sure um, what's going to happen. I'm still on the lookout to try and find some more dreamy villagers. So, Potentially it might be an island hunt maybe or a build with me or just another chill with me in the evening We'll see but if you liked my video I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to you're welcome here anytime and I will see you in my next video Bye